Ow, 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 ow. Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a simple dish called pasta a la vodka. I don't know if anyone requested this. Who cares? I'm just kidding, we care. Viewers at home. You need vodka for this recipe, that's how it got its name. Um, here I have a bottle of the kettle, 1.75 liters. So before you cook, you gotta drink it. Here I've got cock and bowl extra ginger soft drink. Oh, I'm, I'm having a Moscow Mule apparently. I didn't know it was vodka. Well, Moscow Mule! I didn't know how to make a Moscow Mule, I just made one on accident. Did you know? Courtney? Oh, you're talking to me? <laughs> Never mind. Alright, let's get some water for our pasta. Usually I try to do the dishes before the show. Did it happen today? I was too busy with business. I'm Mr. Business now, by the way. I got, I just, uh, I just finished my MBA, and that stands for Mr. Business. Hey. I put salt in the pasta water, which is just regular water now, but soon it'll be pasta water. Um, we can start preheating our pan here, uh, probably medium-ish. And while that is heating up, we get some onion going. It's really tasty. I think the reason why it's so good is that the ginger beer is so strong you can't taste the vodka. Even though I made it like half vodka. This is a big ass onion. You can see relative to the size of my head, it's smaller than my head, but that doesn't really say much. Because you have a big head. Yeah, that's, that's why I was trying to... Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. So because it's so big, we'll just set half of this on uh, John's drink. Proceed to dice this onion. Which uh, I'm cutting weirdly. So, how you usually do? Yeah, nice sass. I think the viewers at home will think you're real spicy. Just like all vodka sauce. Alright, um, there's some kind of science be behind adding the vodka to the sauce. And I started reading about it and got bored. So if you want to know why you add the vodka, you could look it up on the internet or your preferred method of information sharing. Um, it's kind of a lot of onion. I might just throw some of this away. I'll try to chop it. Okay, that, that looks like a fine amount. Uh, here I have some garlic. I'm using fresh today, although it doesn't really look that fresh. I'm gonna thinly slice it, and instead of chopping it up too much, I'm just gonna give it the old who cares approach. Because I think a nice chip of garlic fried properly, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Alright, uh, let us get some oil in the pan. We'll start with some olive oil. We'll just kind of bring it around town. And for maximum flavor, we'll also add some butter. This will uh, this will have a lubricating effect on your arteries. Therefore, when the you know, like when the blood clot finally gets you, it'll just slide right through straight to the heart. A couple of tablespoons of that. That seems like a fine amount. <laughs> All right, other ingredients you will need is some tomato puree. This is somewhere between sauce and paste, uh, but it, I'm using puree today because I'm trying to go for a silky and sultry and sauce. You could also use... What? 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 I'm watching you. She said that she's watching me and then left. You could also use whole plum tomatoes like San Marzano's. Which you could crush if you wanted a chunkier sauce. I ain't gonna do that today. Creeper! Now that the butter's popping, throw your stuff in there. We're gonna saute it real nice. Now we will saute these in the oral. I think I'm about to put too many onions in it. It's like Court's worst nightmare. Salt it for flavor. All right, so we need, yeah, we need a tomato puree. Where's, where's the heavy cream? Oh, there it is. Heavy whipping cream, uh, some crushed red pepper. I finally remembered to buy more. This is another elusive flavoring that I uh, always think I have and I don't, but now I do. Tonight's pasta is Italian trotoli, which is uh, wiggly. Well, the pasta water is ready, so let's make it into pasta water. By adding our wiggly doos. Yeah, enjoy the dry pasta, weirdos. The brain, 
a healthy mass of cells and fibers, is the center of the network of fibers that make up man's nervous system. Extending upward into the skull, the spinal cord widens to form the brain stem. The brain stem. Okay, now that we've uh, cooked this down a little bit, time to add the vodka. I've seen like a lot of different measurements for making this. Some people say a quarter cup, some people say a half cup, some people say three quarters of a cup, and yet others still say one cup of vodka. I feel like in the spirit of being consistent with our spirits, uh, in our liberal use of spirits, and in the spirit of using spirits, we're gonna just put it into one cup. The important thing is to let this cook down a little bit so that uh, you don't just taste alcohol. Um, also use good vodka. If you use bad vodka, it's gonna taste pretty bad. So here we go. Wow, nice. We're gonna cook that. <laughs> this doesn't, it smells like vodka. I just got heated vodka fumes up my nose. So we gotta let that cook down a couple minutes. Stir our pasta while we're waiting. Let's uh, spree do spree. Here I have some Parmesan cheese, which we're gonna freshly grate using a grater. We're gonna do it in a freshly fashion. I think those words go well together, fresh fashion. It's been a minute, we'll wear the hat. Everyone loves the hat. This cheese is greasy, <laughs> greasy cheese. Greasy! Um, you may be wondering if this is Parmigiano Reggiano. It's not. <laughs> My life with these. Okay, that seems like a fine amount. Get this damn thing off my head. It's starting to smell less like just plain vodka, so that's good. Kind of smells like gar garlic and onions too. So now we're gonna add some tomato puree. Um, <laughs> damn it. I've been defeated. Oh no! <laughs> it's impossible. Ow! God damn it! Courtney, help us open up this jar. Let me do it. No, let me do it. Let me do it. I got it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Thanks for doing that. Okay, let's start with half the jar. That'll be like 12 ounces. Maybe a little more than 12 ounces. You don't want to use them too much, apparently, because this is a creamy sauce. I bet you it would have been creamier if I didn't put all these goddamn onions in it. Probably. Well, here we are. We're gonna let that cook. As it is for a time. It's getting kind of humid in here. Pasta's looking done. Better strain it. Actually, I, I should get some of that starch water. Oops. What a weird pasta. All right. Next up, I'm gonna turn our heat down to fairly low. I'm gonna add cream. And shit, I need to put this in a different container. <laughs> All right, we need a cup of cream for the luxury. A little luxury. Yeah, just peel the whole bottle. A cup of cream is a lot of cream, as you might imagine. But that's okay. We're gonna do this, because I, I think I've seen other cooking shows do that, swirling with cream. I don't know why you do that. We're gonna incorporate. Should have a pretty pale sauce. Should look creamy. And you want this on a very low simmer. So I might actually have to turn the heat up just a tiny bit. While we're at it, we'll add a little bit of starch water. The uh, starches in it help it get sticky so it can coat the noodles. We're gonna add some hot red pepper. That should be a little spicy. There's no salt in vodka, so you need to make sure you salt the, the sauce quite a bit. And uh, black pepper. Court always puts my black pepper grinder away. I don't know why. She put stuff away. What do you do in the kitchen? No, like with black pepper, you leave it out because you gotta use it all the time. I do. I put some in. So we'll let that cook for a while. And again, just uh, you know, the, the slightest simmer is probably the best. So, be right back. Let me eat this noodle. It's a nice noodle. I have let the sauce cook for a while. You can see that most of the onions have dissolved into less than onions. I had another, I'm on the next Moscow Mule now, so I feel no pain. Uh, here is a, a cup of Parmesan. This we will again incorporate. I love that word, incorporate. And because of my detailed knowledge of business, 
I might start saying incorporate in Delaware for tax reasons. <laughs> All right, so our cheese is melted. That's great. Let's finish this bitch. Here's our cooked pasta. Oh shit. You can use some of the starch water to loosen it if you need to, or you can use your hands if you're not a bitch. I ain't no bitch. Pasta perished it. All right, it's time to toss to coat or incorporate in Delaware for tax reasons. <laughs> I feel like this noodle was a good choice because there's there's so many curves and twists and zigzags and woog wags uh, that it'll really like pick up the sauce. I think that'll be nice. I think this looks pretty appetizing. Can turn the heat off at this point. And really, all that's left to do is uh, plate her up. Oh wait, no, I forgot the basil. Shit. This is an optional, but I feel like it'll give it a nice flavor. Got some uh, basil leaves here. So uh, natural. Natural thing to do with leaves is to roll them. I'm gonna make a little chiffonade, a chiffonade. So roll them up. The tighter you roll them, the better the chiffonade, but honestly it'll just come unfurled anyway, so who gives a shit? We have strips of basil, that's what we want. And you can just ploop them on in there and incorporate. In Delaware. <laughs> For tax purposes. Oh, we noodle down, noodle down. You have to taste that one. Hmm. Oh, that's good. So the residual heat will cook that basil right up. No problem. Let's plate her up. Finish with some additional parmesan. Maybe a sprinkle of salt. And there you have it. Let's try her out. Mmm. Oh, fine. Man, I wish that I could lick this plate politely. Presenting the Fork Jilla. Gosh, look at that amazing fork accessory. I can now just scoop the sauce directly from the plate. Delicious, it's the sauce. Wow, my life is forever changed. Incredible, what a valuable invention. The Fork Jilla, Fork Jilla. Not available for individual sale. <laughs> So anyways, that's how you do it. This is really good. I don't want to talk anymore, I'm gonna eat. So, see you later, nerds. Incorporate in Delaware.